Holly Knight's interesting co-write with Rod Stewart on the song Love Touch. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Holly Knight contributed to the Rod Stewart album Every Beat of My Heart in 1986. The album had two hits in the UK, but only one in the US, Love Touch. They wrote it together, kind of. I had this idea, and then I got a phone call from Rod's manager, who I did not know, who said, uh, Holly Knight, do you want to meet Rod Stewart up at the offices? And I was like, okay. So I went up there, and uh, I'm thinking to myself as I was going up the elevator, like, you're going to meet with Rod Stewart right now. You realize that, don't you? This is not like the Matrix. It's not a dream. It's really happening. I went in there and, you know, he, he was sort of larger than life because he looks exactly in person as he does the way you imagine him to be. You know, and then yeah. all of a sudden he starts staring you at the foot in the face and he said, um, I'm interested in writing with you. And I said, well, I have this beginning of this song and I've got the chorus and I can sing it to you. So I played it to him and I played the chorus and he turned the tape off and he goes, <laughs> so funny. He's well done, young lady. <laughs> it's, it's like something that the, like a school teacher or, like, or a dean would say to you. And um, I said, well, thank you. I said, do you want to write it with me? He said, yeah. I said, good. Well, let's get together. And so we got together two or three times and we were doing far too many drugs and he was doing contributing nothing to it. <laughs> So I just said, look, we got to stop this. Let's stop the horsing around. I'm going to finish this song, and if you love it, you'll cut it. Because I was thinking, if he doesn't, then at least I won't have to share credit with someone I didn't write anything with. Because that was happening a lot. And uh, so then I did the demo, and he loved it, and he cut it. So, And I'm singing all the backgrounds on that record, which is funny, because he asked me to sing all the backgrounds before he would do the lead, which was a bit back afterwards. But it worked out. You know, he had a big hit with it. You really don't have to work anymore. You do it because you enjoy doing Doing it. I see a lot of songwriters, they'll write four or five hits and all of a sudden they'll go, I can rest my laurels and I can just go relax and do nothing, which is foreign to me, but it seems like it's foreign to you too because you like what you do. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm the kind of person I'm always curious about things, not just music. I mean, I'm always trying to learn, you know, new things. Last couple of years, if you're creative, you're usually creative as a person, which means you're going to be creative about a lot of things. I taught myself video editing and film editing and I taught myself Photoshop and Pro Tools. I just think I get stronger as a writer. What gets weaker is the connections you have within the industry to get through all the gatekeepers. It's so much harder now than it used to be, so I would pick and choose the projects I want now. I always do, but now it's like even more so because I don't have to work and... That's the hard part, not the songwriting. It's the business side of it. You must have a, a great sense of satisfaction considering, you know, all the songs we're talking about, and this is just a small fraction of your songs, obviously, but they're all still getting played today. Yes, I know. It's wonderful. And, um, and, and, and you're not going to be walking through a store and they just come on. Like, a lot of shopping stores love to license songs from the 80s. I don't know what it is. But maybe just that they were great songs and they're yeah. recognizable and iconic. I mean, so many songs have come out before and certainly since then but you know when you have songs that keep getting played over and over this many years after I mean they call them evergreen songs and they're just songs yeah. that they're going to keep playing and I never get tired of hearing this stuff because it's like I, I listen in my car to Sirius Radio and you know they have the 80s and a song of mine comes on I still will pull over and take a, like a little shot of it on my camera I still get a thrill out of it I never never and I just sometimes, you know, it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to run around the store and say to someone, oh, that's my song? No. I mean, I just sort of smile and chuckle to myself. I give myself a little inner wink. And it makes me feel good. Like, you know, I made a mark. I will continue to as well. I'm not done by any means. For more details on Holly, go to hollynight.com. She was a 2013 inductee into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. We'll have part six coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt if you want to support the channel. This is Rocky Stream Music.